a lovely bank holiday Monday by the river in Bewdley in Worcestershire. No restrictions on travelling to enjoy the view, but here social distancing appears to be holding up, even if some feel their commitment has been sorely tested by the example set by the Prime Minister's special adviser. They expect us people to do what we're doing in a civil way, and yet that man can get in his car, travel 500 mile round trip, and, and face no consequences. Others are more sympathetic towards Mr Cummings, candidly admitting he's not the only person likely to have viewed the guidelines according to his own circumstances. Other people have done a lot worse, but he's been penalised for it. Thing is, I mean, life's got to carry on. And he did it for his son, didn't he, really? I don't see he's done anything wrong. Yes, he travelled all them miles, but he did it for his son's safety. It's impossible to know whether people gathering by the seaside or in parks less than two metres apart all live under the same roof. But behavioural scientists say the lockdown is now more easily open to interpretation. Once you begin blurring the boundaries around the rules and being ambiguous about them um, and finding all sorts of hidden clauses that actually were developed for other purposes, then you're really opening the gates for people to say, well, I have exceptional circumstances, or I can interpret it in this way. One household which has stuck rigidly to the rules is the House of God. Worcester Cathedral has been closed to worshippers since the start of the crisis, not even open for funerals. The Bishop of Worcester has consoled those for whom the restrictions have governed the way they can grieve. He worries about the impact now on society's faith in the lockdown. I think a huge amount of damage has been done in this situation by people not perceiving those in authority to be living by the same rule book which they themselves are articulating. And it's going to take a huge amount uh, for that trust to be recovered. But it's essential for the health and safety of us all that it is recovered somehow because it's a matter of life and death. Predicting the amount of damage Dominic Cummings's actions could have if a second lockdown is needed is not an exact science. The hope is, whatever his reasoning, the rest of us will understand our interactions are being curtailed to prevent the spread of a killer virus. Lisa Holland, Sky News, Worcestershire.